say the Lord's Prayer. Everyone fold your hands and pray, Our Father, with me. One, two, three. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. My sweets, I'm going to be talking to you today about when Jesus fed all of these people with a lunch that wouldn't even feed all of us in the room. I told you yesterday that Jesus and his disciples got in a boat to go across to the other side of a lake. Why were they doing that? Why did they get in a boat and start heading over to the other side? Why did they do that, DeAndre? No, Jesus was in the boat. They didn't want to see Jesus. Jesus was in the boat with his disciples. Why were they going across to the other side, Jordan? No, not to see something. What did I say yesterday? Why did they get in the boat and go to the other side? Jaden. Nope, not fishing. <laughs> Mason. Thank you, because Jesus was tired. He had been teaching the people all morning. London, just push that away, honey. We'll throw that away in a little bit. Honey, just push it up onto your name tag and leave it, please, sweetie. Thank you. Jesus had been teaching the people over here on this side of the lake all morning. And after a day of teaching, he was so tired. Last night, I went home from school. This is not even a joke. Honey, push that away, please. I put on my pajamas right away. I sat in my jammies all night <laughs> because I was tired. I was tired after teaching all day. I am tired. Jesus was a man, even though he was also God. And so he felt tired. So him and his, him and his disciples got in the boat to go to the other side of the lake. What did these people who had been, he had been teaching all day, what did they do? Raise your hand. What did these people who he had been teaching all day, what did they do, Mason? They followed him to the other side. So they saw where he was going, and they didn't have a boat. So they ran around to the other side of the lake. And the Bible says that when Jesus saw what they were doing, he had pity on them. That means he felt bad for them. He noticed and he knew what they felt in their hearts and what they were thinking. So he knew they want to keep listening to me. Did Jesus tell them to go away? No, Jesus did not tell them to go away. He taught them more instead. Even though he was tired, he still taught them. And boys and girls, it started to get late. It was almost time to eat supper. And one of Jesus' disciples said, uh, Jesus, I think you should send them home. Because they're starting to get hungry. Send them home so they can go and get something to eat. And Jesus looked at his disciples and he said, well, you feed them. You give them something to eat. And Jesus' disciples said, uh, Jesus, even if we saved up our money for a whole year, we would not have enough to feed all of these people. Jesus, we, 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 we don't have enough. Well, then one of the disciples found a little boy, and his mama had packed him a supper. What did his mama pack him to eat while he was listening to Jesus? Jaden. You got it. Five little loaves of bread and two fish. And these loaves were not like the loaves you buy from the store where there's lots of pieces of bread. They were just like little ones. Um, are five little loaves of bread and two little fish, would that even feed 
all 13 of you? No. no. And Jesus didn't say, no, no, that's not enough, and send him away. Here's the little boy with his food. Jesus took the food, and what did he do? He did what we do every day before we eat. What did he do, Jaden? He prayed to the Lord. You got it, sweetheart. He prayed, thanking God for the food, and then he told his disciples to do what? He had all the people sit down, and he told his disciples to go and give everybody uh, some food. And not just a tiny little piece. He said, give the people as much as they can eat until they are until they are full. And then after everybody had eaten, there were 5,000 men. That doesn't include the women and the children. So there could have been 10, 15,000 people that Jesus fed with five loaves of bread and two fish. And then he told his disciples, there were 12 of them, so they each had a basket, so 12 baskets. I want you to go and collect the other leftovers because we don't want to waste any. We don't just want to leave it on the ground. That would be wasteful or just throw food away. Jesus said, go collect food. And my loves, they had 12 baskets full. Look at this basket. Did that little boy's lunch even fill one basket? No. no. How was there more food at the end than what the little boy started with? Jordan. God can do anything. You got it, sweetie. God can make anything happen that he wants to. And God made more food appear than what they had started with. This is another one of Jesus's miracles. And a miracle is something only God can do. And Jesus is God. I can't make more food. If I brought pizza for lunch and I only brought one piece of pizza, and if I got done eating it and I was still hungry, can I make more pizza? No, I can't. Jesus could, and he did. And my loves, if Jesus can feed all of these people with a little boy's lunch, can he take care of you every day? Yeah. yeah, he totally can. And he will because he loves you. My sweets, this is why we say thanks every day to God for our food. That's why we pray before we eat. Because we know who is taking care of us and who has given us all these things. God. Yes, your mommy and your daddy and your granny, they work so that they can make money to go and buy food. But who gave your granny and your daddy and your mommy their ability to work? Jaden. God did. God gave me the talents to be a teacher so that I can make money to provide for my family. Everything I have is from God. That's why we say thank you even for the food, even though your mommy bought it, but who gave your mommy and who gave you all that you have? God, you got it. My sweets, I have the last two pictures of the story for you. So yesterday, you started coloring these two where Jesus is teaching the people and he, his disciples say, you should send them away, it's time to eat. Jesus says, no, you feed them. And one of the disciples finds a little boy with five little pieces of bread and two fish. Here Jesus is praying. I need to finish. I was taking my time, so I did not finish coloring. Then, here are the next two pieces. Here Jesus and his disciples are handing out the food to the people, and everybody ate till they were full. Look at that basket. It's full of bread. That basket's full of fish. Where did those come from? Jesus, you got it. And then here you see this little boy, he's throwing in his extra crumbs because nobody was going to waste anything. So they're putting all their extras into the baskets. So I'm going to give you these two. When you're done, first you color everything. You color, then you cut. Then you can cut out and you'll have, I'll staple these together. You'll have the four pictures that make the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000 people. Okie dokie, my loves. Um, who here is on live stream? I see Chelsea, Bridget, and Karina. I will mark you guys all present for school. Happy Valentine's Day a few days early, my loves. I'll see you soon for math meeting at 8.30, okay? Bye, my loves. Thanks for joining. All right. Um